What's up, everybody? My name is Brandon Thrasher, and welcome on back to the garage. Today, we're taking a final look at this guy right here. This is the Tuya Big Belly by Tuya Knives. It is a Axis style lock and uh, a really nice knife. So, before we do anything else, let me give you some of the specs because, you know, that's what we got to do. So, this is M390. Um, the overall length is seven and a half inches. The weight is 3.5 ounces. The blade length is 3.35 inches long with a three inch, I think, three inch, I want to say, cutting edge. Yeah, 3.25 inch cutting edge. And yeah. It is an integral, it is carbon fiber, it is what I call a axis lock. So it's a crazy knife, integral, or integral, whatever, is one piece. So this is one piece of carbon fiber, all milled. The only uh, hardware holding a blade in is the one pivot screw, which is very nicely done satin, has a nice milled titanium pocket clip uh, there is no milling because it's it's carbon fiber super light uh i love the swedging on the top of the blade i love the it's almost a crazy it's almost crazy it's like it's kind of like i don't know i it's a saber grind because you have a flat here and this is a flat grind down um but it's got so much belly. I mean, this would be an awesome knife for skinning tasks, um, field dressing. I mean, it's cool. Um, if you look at it, it tells you here that this is a uh, Michael Gal 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 Galvic design. Uh, it is M390. These are numbered. Right here, you can see if it'll focus up. I got a backward right now. Um, this is, I believe it's number 71 of 220, and it has the M390 there as well. This is the best retention I've ever seen on a Axis style lock. It's like a detent, honestly. Once you break it, it fires out. That's great. It doesn't feel like it. It, doing that round bendy thing so much um, which has made this so far my favorite uh, feeling on the opening of an axis lock knife uh, the handle is a little small it is not a huge knife I love if you are back here you can, can get a four finger but yeah and I love this kind of thumb pooing the ramp there. It feels great. Uh, I really kind of want to be up here. This is more comfortable to me. And it's doable. It's just, I'm not going to suggest it because no real flat. You do have just barely a sharpening choil. I don't really like the fact that it, the blade comes up here and then your plunge grind. And what's going to happen is you, you're going to sharpen into that. They don't give you a whole lot of room between the end of the, the grind and then the end of the plunge grind, um, it's probably okay. I just, I would like a sharpening choil, like an actual choil on that. I think it would be better, but this knife is pretty, pretty freaking awesome, guys. Not going to lie. I mean, is it sharp? Yep. Yep. I mean, straight up. And, you know, I'm way down on the list compared to everybody else here. Yeah, it's sharp. Uh, it'll cut you, it'll slice you. Uh, I think it feels like it might have a small burr or that's just me. Yeah, it's just me. It's just me and my printer paper. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Uh, how does it carry in the pocket thrasher? Well, let's just find out, shall we? I gotta adjust this camera, right? Like, I moved and I don't quite have the camera where it needs to be. Um, here is an issue I have, is 
the tension on the clip is a little tight, right? I like it tight, but kind of hard to get in the pocket. Not hard to get out. As you can see, it's not deep carry. It, it's, it's far from deep carry, really. But it's not too bad. I mean, not crazy bad or anything. But sticking it in the pocket with one hand has not been the easiest task. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's super light, man, which makes it very convenient for, like, summertime carry, which is what we're in right now, right? Hotter than hell outside, you want to carry a light knife. You don't want to have heavy stuff in your pocket. Um, it's been great for that. It, like I said, kind of sucks in and out of pocket one hand. This is not the best. I mean, the retention doesn't feel bad, but it's a real pain in the ass. I don't think the ramp's very good, maybe. A uh, real pain in the ass to get it in my pocket with one hand. I don't know why. Out of pocket's not a problem. I don't mind how it carries. It's not very big in pocket. Uh, I think it's cool that it's uh, integral. Um, that's pretty awesome. You don't really see that with carbon fiber and access lock too much. Uh, which is awesome. I, I don't really... I don't care that they numbered it. That doesn't bother me. It's not my thing with uh, knives. It's not a super, like... I mean, maybe the carbon fiber one's a major limited edition. I don't know. But when I was looking at the site, they make this in all sorts of different designs. I, I believe G10s, uh, micartas. I mean, so... I don't know why it's numbered. I guess it just is. Maybe just the carbon fiber one, like I said. I think it's a pretty awesome knife. Uh, I really do. I, I, I dig it. I think um, it's a great design, honestly. But $279, right? Is it worth that? Well, it's M390 and um, full carbon fiber. It's probably, that's probably about the cost, yeah. Not gonna lie. Uh, I don't think it's a knife that I would buy, personally. It's just, I mean, I really like the, the way this one comes out. I don't like the pocket clip. Of course, I could probably find something. Well, maybe not. It is interesting. I'm thinking this screw right here is the screw that's holding the pocket clip because it is an integral so there's nothing it's all milled out of one yeah it's got to be it this screw here is holding the pocket clip so it might be kind of hard to replace the pocket clip uh so i guess no you can't but i don't think it's really a knife that i personally would buy and own but it is a good knife i i i love the blade shape i love the way it handled i i think it was uh it's a very good knife, very light, and super great for summertime carry. It's just not really kind of my my cup of tea, like it, for my own collection. Uh, I enjoy it. I, I enjoyed it a lot. I think it was, it's very good. It's just not my style. Um, just in case you guys, you know, wanted to know size, this is the Asher Knives full titanium Spiro. It is a little bigger than that, as you can see. Um, Civivi Elementum, it is definitely bigger than that because that's small, smaller than the, than the Spiro. Uh, just to give you guys an idea what, what I'm talking about size-wise, it's not a huge knife, but it's not, it's not the smallest knife either. I feel more comfortable up here, but that's not where you should be. This is where you should be, and it's okay. It's it's still comfortable. You can't feel the clip or anything. No hot spots. Everything is nicely chamfered. Um, an action, obviously. You know, it's an access style lock, so the action is primo. You you, you pull it, it's gonna drop. Uh, there isn't anything else I can really tell you guys. I mean, it, it's been around the block. I'm definitely. It's not a new knife, it's not, it's just new to me. I know everybody's probably already seen it, already tried it, but I hadn't, so now I have. Um, and it's and it's a great, it's just not for me. 
Anyway, guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend, a wonderful week, whatever day it may be, whatever you're doing, make sure you're doing it right and happy. Get out there, do something positive for somebody, make things happen, right? That's what I say, but um, I guess we'll just finish it right. So get out there, do something positive for yourself, do something positive for somebody else, make yourself happy by making somebody else happy. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.